So I have one slide just to set this up because we have a lot of moving parts. And in this slide, what we're going to use is SQL Server Data Services as a generic data hub at the center of this. And we have a rich WPF application with a local database uh, that allows us to do a, a variety of things with the data. I'll show that. Then we have a web-based application that allows people to submit data. And that goes directly to SQL Server Data Services. Think of that as a database service endpoint on the internet. Um, and then we have a mobility application that allows us to collect content and through the Microsoft Sync framework actually synchronize that um, with SQL Server Data Services as well. Now, the Sync framework can do things in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion, but in this particular scenario, um, we're using SQL Server Data Services as a hub. In the scenario we have, we have a company we call Trey Research. And what this allows is bloggers and other people to contribute content and become freelance journalists. And so the idea is people can submit content that have registered and actually get paid for their content. And so we're going to show an application that we started. And we're going to start talking real quickly about the entity data model and the entity framework. The idea here, and many of the things that you've seen, is leveling, up-leveling the abstraction at which we're operating. So instead of dealing directly with a logical relational schema, we can reason about things in terms of entities that make sense to uh, the application. And associations and relationships between entities become first class in this model. Um, we can separate the store from the, the work that's happening above it. And this application is what we've used to build this uh, rich WPF app. And the first thing that I want to show here is, right, I've got a, um, a little bit of a slider here that I can move around. And if you look over on the right-hand side, you can see that the content is moving in and out depending on uh, the radius that I've established. So this is using SQL Server's new spatial type in SQL Server 2008 um, with the Virtual Earth map control. And what I want to show you is sort of the code behind this. So it's very easy to go off and do. What we do, we've defined a point that came from uh, the application. And then what we've done is actually ST buffer is a standard function um, that gives you the number of meters from that point to, to define a circle. And then in the query, we just have the intersects operator down here um, that's intersecting with the radius geometry that we defined above. This is all spatially indexed, so it's actually very quick when we go off and use it. Oops. Then over on the right-hand side, we have the articles. And the interesting thing about the articles, they are geocoded, as you can see here. And we've got a time that they've been submitted and other content. So we have some properties and we've got some content. Over here, we have some images that we can work with. And I'll bring that up. Again, this is geocoded. This is an image that was taken earlier today. And this, one thing I want to point out, new with SQL Server 2008, is that we have now uh, full time zone support uh, inside SQL Server 2008. So we can retain time zones and do local time zone operations on that. So that's a, a good thing. So now what I want to do is point one more thing out on this application. In the upper right-hand side, you see that um, we've got a synchronization icon that's going every once in a while. So this is actually pulling data down from SQL Server data services. And one of the ways that we can get content up into the data services with, is with this browser-based application. And again, this is a rich application. Um, we have profiling. If you're a blogger, you can find out how much money you've made recently. And the thing we want to do right now is create a new story. So I have some demo text I'll put in here. And of course, we'll change a few things just for the demo. So we'll say really big events, call for big venues. Um, I've noticed over here I'm going to geotag this. And we're actually in the wrong place. I think we're about right here. And I'll add in one more tag and say SQL Server rocks. OK, so now I'm going to submit this. And the data from this application is actually being submitted to SQL Server Data Services. And SQL Server Data Services is a REST-based application. And what we can do is go in and take a look here and browse around. Very simple to interact with. And since it's a database service, one of the things you'd expect us to be able to do is actually do some querying on it. So I'll paste in a bit of a query string, maybe take a quick look at that. And so this string right here from E and Entities, where title is equal to Beyond Heroes, that's the article that we'd submitted, select the entity. And that's based on the link query comprehension syntax. So now we submitted the story. Um, one of the things that we'd like to do is to see if we have anybody who could uh, provide some other content. So if we have a trade research blogger 
Up here, okay. So Mo is going to come up and actually uh, take a picture with his cell phone. This is a mobility-based application. It uh, uses the Microsoft Sync framework. And Mo developed that, uh, I don't know, it was a matter of a, how long did it take you to do that? A day or two? About a day. So, uh, of course, Mo knows that stuff inside and out. So now that we've taken a look at the data service, what we'll do is we'll go back over into the application and see if we can actually pull some things together. So now we'll take a look here. And the other thing that we have is this uh, slider that allows us to restrict content based upon time. So this is the article that we want to put together. And we go over here to images. And I'm going to take the image that I had shown you earlier. And it looks like Mo's image of me from his phone actually came up there, synchronized directly through. So we'll pull that down. And then we'll just submit the article. So what we show right here is basically a mock-up of the next thing that we'll do with this application as we build it out. And this gives you a sense of some of the rich analytics that you can embed inside your application. So now we can do analysis within this rich application. We can see charts. We can see demographics. And all that is very easy to do, because we talked about the breadth running from cell phones up through the internet data service, types of data. Um, we actually showed a number of other pieces. And um, all of this with one single common programming model. 